Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, &D Art Gallery. Uh, today I have a 16 by 20 canvas that I'm going to do a dirty cut pour on. And I can go over some of my paints. Some of them are some older paints that I am using up. I do have a layer of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down that will help the paint uh, flow. And I am using um, Handmade Modern, which is a Target brand uh, satin brick, very pretty color. Um, I am using Folk Art Copper combined with, again, the Handmade Modern New Penny combination of those two. And I'm using a light yellow color, a navy that I made up that I uh, started out with phalo blue and then I added a little black to it. Next color is Liquid Tech Basics Bright Aqua Green. My last color is again a purple color that I had made up. And let's go over uh, consistency here. It just leaves a little trace and then disappears. Today my pouring medium is um, two parts Floetrol to one part paint. I did have to thin a little bit with 90% um, water and 10% Floetrol. Silicone, I did add one drop of the Montmart silicone um, in the uh, dark blue, the navy, and the purple. Only one drop. And... I am using enamel today. I added two tablespoons of the enamel paint to um, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and then two tablespoons of the uh, Easy Care acrylic enamel. So we'll see if that does anything today. And let's get started with layering the paints. I have my big cup here already, so. We'll just get started. And I will add that white right in there. And I did find these um, little plastic cups on Amazon. They're really nice. They have screw-on lids. And they are 6 ounce, which is nice if you want to mix like... I usually go for like 4 ounces of paint, and that leaves a little bit extra at the top there. And then they wash up real nice. That copper is a very pretty color. Okay, I think that's plenty of paint. And I just will move my paints out of the way here now. And 
take this off a minute. And I am going to just add a little bit, a little pillow of the enamel, the white in the enamel here. Okay. So let's just get started pouring here. And I am, I, as you can see, I'm just kind of pouring it back and forth a little bit here to give it some little, like, finger look there. Okay. And I will add just a little bit of this white around the paint here to help it flow. You can see many cells popping up already. I That Montmart silicone is very reactive. You don't need much with that, that type of silicone. Okay. And looking at this right now, I really like this area, and unfortunately, probably a lot of that is going to be tipped off. But we'll just see. Take it easy. I'll just take it slow and easy on the tipping here. I'll get this corner down here. And I'll bring it back. And now I'll get this corner over here. And bring it back. Just set it down for a minute here. I have huge cells here, but uh, 
it's surprising I did mix that silicone in very good with those colors. Okay. Now I'll get this corner down here. Bring it back. I'm bringing it back into the center. And now I will get this corner over here. And I will bring it back. And I'm just going to take a look at it now. Look at the composition, see what I do like, what I don't like. I am getting a few of these little white cells coming up along the edge here from the enamel paint. And I'm going to do a little more tipping. First I'll get this side over here as I did not go over that side yet. And I will bring that back. And I'm going to take some off this corner over here, I think, and then bring it back. Only because I, I don't really care for the look of that corner. And I do have a lot of paint left on here. So we'll tip some of that off and bring it back. I'm just bringing it back to the, to the middle right now. Hopefully you can see some of that. And now I'm gonna take another look at it. And I just stop and take a look at it just to check out the composition. See if there's something I'd like to change. Okay. I think I'm going to try and take a little more off in the middle here. Just slowly try and move that down. Pull some of that off. Okay. Now I'll bring it back. I want to stretch out a little bit of that white if I can. And now I'm going to tip off some down at the bottom. And bring it back. And now I'm going to take another look at it.
I like this area. I like this area. This is pretty good too, and this is nice. This is good. This area down here, even though it has some pretty nice looking cells in it, I am going to um, tip a little bit down that way. Just to pull a little more of this paint off. Okay, and I will bring it back. Try and center it a little bit more here. Okay, let me look at it here. Now, I know some people don't like the really big cells, but on this painting, as you can see, I have the really big cells stretched out, but then I have in between them the lines with that copper, and that's, that's what I like, the, the differentiation between the big cells and then those lines. A little more tipping here. Just going to tip a little bit more down in this area. And then bring it back. Again, I'm just trying to bring that, those little, that finger looking the finger looking paint a little more into the middle there. Take another look at it. See, I'm really starting to like this now. It's very pretty. There's some faded looking areas in here and in here from stretching that. Very nice. Okay, I think I'll clean off the bottom and then do a torch. Very messy here today. And do a torch. Excuse me. Okay. Can I get you down for a close up? tell me what what spots you like and what you don't like and please please do leave comments if there's something that you think I can improve on I am always looking to improve so I'd appreciate comments And let's see what we have here. This 
this is the upper left hand corner you can see where those cells are starting to pop up from the enamel paint there you can see that brick color coming through in the stripes which is so pretty A lot going on in this painting. Here's that muted look I was talking about in here. And then with those stripes, so pretty. Purple coming through. And this is the lower left-hand corner. I'll take you up the middle. Very pretty in here. A lot going on, a lot of different cells. And in here, this is what I was talking about, the big cells, but around them, you've got that copper coming through with that brick color, some of the yellows coming up, very nice. And in here, that's, that is just spectacular in here. It's all that color coming through there, very nice. Very nice part of the painting. Like I said, the Montmartre silicone, only, I only used two drops, one in the blue, the navy, and one in that purple, and got a lot of cells here. This is the upper right-hand corner. Again, very pretty in there and in here. And we did have some of that some little red uh, cells come up, a few of them anyway. And again, the lines are so crisp in here with that navy blue. Very pretty. Well, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.